You want to be in the video, kitty? Hmm? That's cute. So, somebody in the comments asked me a really good question the other day, and I thought I would answer it in video form. And this is also part of a question that I get a lot, which is, are you Turkish? And the answer to that question is yes, I'm Turkish. I was born and raised in Istanbul, and my native language is Turkish, which is why I can sing in it. I started learning English only when I was in about third grade. But the actual question was, you said you are from Turkey. Turkey is a Muslim country. How did your family accept you as a lesbian? Well, that is a really good question. For me, coming out wasn't such a huge deal because I came out when I was in boarding school in Canada. And when I came out, I did it on Facebook first. I said I was a lesbian on Facebook and all of my friends saw it first. So I got all of the positive feedback from my Canadian friends first. I never even came out to my father face to face. And there's a shadow on my face that makes me look like I have a beard. <laughs> Hold on, I have to fix this. Do I put it up? Yeah. Uh. Come on. My mother, at first, she thought it was a phase. She thought I would grow out of it. She thought that I was going through a lot and this was a part of that. And that was obviously very hurtful for me, so I was quite angry at her for a long time. And my father was insistent upon me being bisexual. I guess for him, thinking about me as open to both genders made him feel better about it. Now, my coming out wasn't very difficult for me. However, the figuring out that I'm a lesbian part was extremely difficult for me. I was afraid of being a lesbian. Whenever I had the thought that, oh my God, maybe I'm a lesbian, I just turned it off. I was like, no, 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 no. You just really appreciate these women. You're just idolizing them. You don't have feelings for them. Living in Turkey, I was brainwashed to think that if I'm a lesbian, something must be wrong with me. It was almost like a mental illness. And I was such a perfectionist when I was in Turkey. I was a really good student. I was good at everything that I couldn't be a lesbian. Like something couldn't be wrong with me. So I turned it off and I believed 100% that I was straight and normal. Only when I moved to Canada for the boarding school and I was surrounded by people who accepted other sexualities, I was able to really honestly assess myself and realize that I'm not attracted to men. I know now that if I had come out back in Turkey, my life would have been a living hell because my father wouldn't have let me go to a boarding school where I would be staying with 25 girls in a house. <laughs> That would not have happened. It's so important what other people think of you. We like to think that, oh, it's not important what other people think of me. The only thing that matters is what I think of myself. And that is dead wrong. What other people think of you dictate your choices in life. So if you're surrounded by people who are judgmental or who are not open-minded, it's going to affect your self-esteem and how you see yourself. So my biggest advice to anybody would be, if you're surrounded by people who are not going to be accepting, don't come out. Protect yourself. Protect your emotional well-being. They don't need to accept you. I mean, P, Jesus Christ, she came out when she was in her mid-40s and still I don't think her parents 100% accepted that until they realized she was in a gay relationship. I think for a lot of parents, it's easier to see it than to hear it. So come out in real life. Bring them your boyfriend, bring them your girlfriend and let them see the loving relationship that you have with them. Let them see the other person as a human being instead of just a gender and a sexuality that's out of the norm for them. It's challenging to grow up in a place that's that doesn't accept something so essential about who you are. Both me and P grew up in places like that. She grew up in Italy, I grew up in Turkey. And growing up, we both had to deny our sexualities and pretend that we were straight. P had to pretend for more than I did just because maybe back in her day it was even more difficult. And thankfully these days people are a lot more accepting of gay, lesbian relationships and couples and there's the internet so people can educate themselves. Thank God. And we don't have to hide as much anymore. So yeah, that is my answer to that question. If you have any more questions for me or for P, you can always leave them in the comments below. We're thinking about making a Q&A video together. 
So now is your chance. If you're curious about anything, go ahead and let us know. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I love that you enjoyed the vlogs. Um, I'll try to vlog while I'm here. It might be strange, but I'll give it a shot. If I feel like it, I'll do it. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.